Hello, I'm FBX Stoycat, and welcome back to the video. One of the things Minecraft is most frequently criticized for is the lack of development speed when it comes to certain really easy to fix problems. And I feel like one of these easy to fix problems is the uh, fact that there is not real reason to explore any biome past a hundred or a thousand blocks. So real reason to explore most biomes at all, because once you find that a forest exists, you can kind of be happy with that. If you need to chop down trees, you can go back there. But for the most part, you don't need to explore the forest because most biomes don't have rare structures or rare blocks or anything like that. And I feel like this is something that could be easily fixed with one giant update, adding a bunch of biome specific, you know, uh, buildings, let's call them temples for now. And today, in today's video, I think I could show off how one of these updates could just function with six brand new temples, uh, you know, specific to different biomes, and how they could really improve the game in their own little ways each. So hopefully you all do enjoy today's video, going over all six of them, uh, like you could do because it helps out the channel a lot, and let's know you do like this sort of video, and that you approve of more structures and would like to see more of them too. So if anyone sees this, they can be like, yeah, lots of people do on structures, why don't we add those? Because it's one of those things in my head that would be really easy to add and would massively improve Minecraft, but there just hasn't been added in quite some time. But with that said, let's get straight into the very first of these temples, which is a Tiger Temple. So I like this one mostly for the alliteration, you know, Tiger Temple rolls off the tongue or rolls onto it or whatever it is. But yeah, it's, it's, it's a pretty nice temple on that regard. But it's also a great idea to add a brand new type of temple because you've got the Jungle Temple, which is, you know, like about escaping the Redstone and working that out. There's the Desert Temple where there's a big kind of trap. Why not have a temple which is basically a maze? So yeah, this maze could be procedurally generated or it could be the same each time depending on how they want to really take that, but it could be mostly an opportunity to kind of, again, it's, it's a maze in Minecraft. Let's try and find out what's ex exactly what's going on in here. I, I don't know for sure. Can we find the end of it? I'm not entirely certain. So that's kind of fun by itself. It's a, a maze in Minecraft. You've got to try and find the end of, uh, but it could also be a fun opportunity to add brand new, you know, rarer types of loot. So wait, actually, is there an end to that? No, there's not, but it could be a fun way to kind of add, uh, you know, like a, a, a rare way to find stuff that makes people want to explore the maze. So for instance, the center of it could be found anywhere. It could even be like impossible to find to make people want to have to break through it. So you get your rare stuff, like your enchanted book and whatnot, but you could also make it so that, oh yeah, there's like a 1% chance that rare blocks will generate or a rare chest will generate. Again, just to make the structure feel like it's worth finding so that you want to go and find it all these different times. So let's open that chest, shall we? There we go. There's nothing in there, but it could be diamonds. It could be anything like that. And I feel like having a, t uh, you know, a temple in the game, which exists as a you know kind of like risk reward thing, kind of like almost like a Zelda dungeon, but in a really, really brief, simple way of just like, oh, here's a maze, here's a challenge maybe. I feel like that would be great for the game. And I feel like, you know, this design of it, the whole like, oh yeah, it's it's made from wood, almost a wooden mansion thing, but mixed with a temple. I really do quite like the design. And again, all of these, by the way, were designed by myself and Mega versus Prime. So big thank to him one more time. Uh, but as you can see, really nice design. I really particularly like this one. And it's just a great example of a temple which could be added easily to just make the game feel a bit more alive because when you find one of those, you'd feel pretty good. Speaking of things, you'd feel pretty good when you find, we have to go into the nether. And uh, just as a heads up, we're gonna be going through one of my other builds because this uh, world is based on a tutorial world. And uh, this is where I do most of my biome based builds. Like, there's just a bunch of, uh, you know, different stuff. So if you see anything like a weird house or this weird walkway, it's because I, I think this world is great for different biome stuff. And there's a lot, I, I feel like biomes in Minecraft are a great opportunity for most things to be differentiated. Like uh, this second temple I want to show you here, which is a nether temple. So if we go past the, uh, the nether village one more time, uh, then you see just in the corner over there, there is a nether temple. So this one is shaped like a, you know, like a nether worm or something. Again, you could add that as a mob or something to make the temple feel more alive. But even just the core idea, it is a temple temple in the nether feels really cool. I, again, I love the design on this one, another a, a great one right here, uh, but it's also an opportunity to kind of challenge people because, oh, there's mobs spawning in here and, oh, we have to get to the chest. I think that's kind of great. And you could also, because it is the nether, you could make the chest be entirely different. So if we can get to there and then, uh, you know, use it from over here, maybe, uh, you could make the loot be entirely different here because, oh, guess what? It's the nether. So fire resistance arrows, that makes a lot of sense. So guess what? It's the nether. Have a wither skeleton skull. That means that if you want to get, you know, again, let's let's call them, uh, you know, wither skeleton skulls, you're really trying to hunt that wither then there's two ways to do it. You can kill wither skeletons over and over again, or you can explore to do the same. I feel like adding more options to do stuff like that, that's kind of grindy right now, would be more fun for most players that do want to kill the wither. And also just the idea of a structure that looks like this. I love it quite a lot. And I feel like it would greatly improve the game, even if they're really rare, even if they're really common, just some form of never structure, which can contain some never useful items would be pretty, uh, you know, it'd be a pretty nice little improvement. So yeah, that is the, uh, that is the never fort, uh, the, sorry, the never uh, uh, temple. Uh, pretty cool little addition uh, to the other things that I feel like the nether should have because the more things that you put in the nether the more dangerous they are the more rewarding they are the more reason you have to come here and the di more difficult you can make Minecraft without having to you know necessarily make every mob harder like they've been doing on the pocket edition for some time now with that said let's move on to the third uh, temple I think should be added which um, you're actually going to see just over here is the uh, it's the shallow ocean temple so we have the ocean monument right now which is kind of cool but there's, there's something that I think should be added uh, just like over here which is like a I guess it's like a little house and a 
abandoned under, uh, underwater house. I don't know what you want to call it, but you can make it like an ocean monument light. So you come in here, you know, to get yourself some prismarine, if that's what you want. But you can also come in here, if you want to, to, uh, again, find yourself the uh, free loot, to find yourself uh, anything like that. And they could also just contain some random items that, again, make a lot of sense underwater. Maybe a water resistance potion. Again, the, the possibilities, uh, there's, there's quite a lot of them. Maybe you make a house under here. Maybe you get a bunch of sponges from the chest. There's a, you know, there's a bunch of different ideas you could work with from this, but I feel like just the idea of anything you can find underwater that's not that one very, very rare structure would make underwater, you know, make the oceans feel like something that's not just a waste of your world space, but instead, it'd make you want to explore in a boat and look for this stuff, and again, the, the gameplay it creates to look for this thing, I feel like is largely a positive thing and would largely make the game a bit better. So, yeah, there's the third idea. Underwater temple, uh, the shallow ocean temple, in fact, uh, just a great little way to make oceans feel a bit more alive and make them feel a bit more worth exploring, which is, I guess, the point of all of these, such as the fourth one, which is the Birch Temple, uh, t uh, the, sorry, uh, the Birch Forest Temple, which is a fun way just to make, uh, again, you can make this very rare, just to make the Birch Forest feel even, uh, again, even better. So right now, the Birch Forest you go to because you need birch wood, but what if you ain't went here because you wanted a parkour challenge? So kind of like the, um, the way the, um, so, so, so kind of like the way the, uh, Nefort sorry, not the fortress, the, uh, the Ender City exists. This thing could exist as a way to do some parkour. You could even, you know, make it have the exact same, uh, <laughs> give it the exact same kind of challenge of the shulkers here, as you can see. Uh, but make it a parkour to the top. And when you get to the top, you get your rare stuff. Again, in this case, it's going to be, uh, it looks like, uh, you know, some, some limons, some gone carrots, something like that. Anything you can get from the place would be pretty cool. But even if you don't necessarily care about that, the fact that it's got the yellow uh, stuff, the fact that it's this giant marker, I feel like it's just a cool little you know, change for a little structure, and given that this thing could just exist in the one biome fairly rarely, I think it's just a tiny little addition that, yeah, would make the game feel a lot cooler. So, yeah, that's one that you might look at and say, oh, I'm not so certain on that one, so I can't, like, do we need another parkour biome with the shulkers and stuff? I don't know too much about the shulkers, by the way. I think I'd leave them there, because they do it and make it a bit more unique, but, yeah, let's move on to the fifth one here, which is one I think everyone can agree they have some use for, because this is the Mesa Temple. So the Mesa Temple um, was very deliberately designed to be something that you actually could maybe use after you've done with it, unlike, you know, most other structures, they're nice, but you kind of, you know, you're done with them when you find them. What about this one right here? So, yeah, this is the uh, the Mesa Temple, which you could obviously use as a mob grinder after you're done. You know, you could convert it a little bit, but it's also a fun one because it actually adds kind of an element of risk to the whole uh, temple experiment. So, again, we do a little bit of, like, uh, climbing up here. Again, this is a Mesa Temple, it's a temple, so it's kind of like an old little thing, but you do a little bit of climbing to get up the top, or you fly because you're lazy like me, and uh, then you go to one of these rooms. So there's five chests, and two of these chests are going to activate TNT when you uh, you know open them, and three of them are going to contain unimaginable loot. So it's really tricky to tell which one's which because red wool and uh, TNT look suspiciously similar above the thing, and also uh, the you know it's hard to see the trap chests from the other ones. But yeah, two of these chests are actually uh, you know just a, a trap chest, which means that when you open them, instead of getting stuff like this, which you might actually want, instead I think was this a TNT chest. Okay, now that's not a TNT chest over. So instead of getting cool stuff like those things, instead you end up getting like, oh, I wonder why there's nothing in here. And then suddenly, okay, let's get away from that. And then suddenly explosion and you can see the world. And to me at least, you know, not only is it the cool element of like, ooh, I don't know which one's which, but the, uh, you know, the fact that when these open, they explode and let the whole world in, it just feels a little bit cooler than any other temple. And uh, again, TNT, Deserts, they just add up, so TNT Mesa biomes, they kind of add up too. Let's run away from that and show you another one, because it just, again, it looks really great when you open these things, and I think it's something that uh, is worth exploring. And also, obviously, there's the uh, the last one up there, which is, a, 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 you know, it, it could contain the very best stuff, it could contain the worst, who knows for certain, it's just a cool little addition. So let's move on from the fifth temple I'd really like to see in Minecraft, to the final one, the sixth temple. Uh, why is it six, by the way, you might ask, and the good the answer to that is because why not? So yeah, the sixth temple is the Extreme Hill Temple, or the Extreme Hill Fortress, or whatever you want to call it. I feel like this is, uh, again, Extreme Hills are a biome that could really, really, really uh, be improved on, and I feel like one of those ways is to give them uh, this thing right here. So this is uh, kind of like a fortification. It's like, you know, the dwarfs or the gnomes, or whoever, you know, was in Minecraft before. You know, There's, there's like a lore of Minecraft from the abandoned mineshafts and stuff. This could be another abandoned structure that's, uh, you know, again, got the story of like, oh yeah, this was a fortification that they defend themselves with, and uh, they left behind some of their loot, which in this case is gunpowder and flint and stuff like that. So, yeah, uh, ex so it's kind of cool because you can see a lot of stuff, because bear in mind, extreme hills, you can already see a lot, but when you have a giant structure like this, you can see a lot, a lot. So, 
most of that's ocean right now, but we can also see all of the jungle, we can see that giant church, we can see a lot of stuff from up here, but also I feel like this could be a cool way to add a, uh, you know, a brand new kind of structure to the game, like a built-in mine or some ores that you could actually get yourself, because uh, as you can see, there's a little tunnel down here that not only gives you a dig deep into the mountain, so if you want to mine into it and get your stuff, you can do that, but also it could provide you with a bunch of emerald ore to get for free. Again, emerald ore is very hard to find right now, why not give you one way to find it, which could be the extreme hill temple, then suddenly, oh, if you want to start a mine, get Guess what? Find extreme hills, and that's actually a good start. Oh, do you want to, you know, trade a villages? Well, the, uh, sorry, you want to get emeralds? You can trade a villages. You can find it naturally, or you can pray you find one of these. And again, just the tiny bit of gameplay that adds just to look for this thing really, I feel like, improves Minecraft in a way that, in fact, all of these, even if you don't like them, they improve Minecraft because they exist for someone, and uh, that's why I think that they should add at least some brand new structures to the game, whether it's only one or two or three new temples. Add some of them in a brand new update and make the game feel more alive and worth exploring again. That's that's my opinion. I'd love to hear all of yours in the comments down below. Otherwise, like the video if you did like it because it helps out the channel up. And let's know you do like these sorts of videos. Share it if you really liked it and subscribe if you're new around here. That villager just went to the never uh, because I make videos like this one every single day on my channel. And if subscribed, you'll see them daily on your homepage. Thank you all very much for watching and I will see you all next time. Goodbye.